Fixing Wi-Fi reception in your house? It's easy. You move the router, you upgrade the router, you build a beer box reflector and put it behind the router. With college dorms, you can't touch the router and a Wi-Fi extender might really tick off campus IT. So how do you boost a Wi-Fi signal that keeps cutting out? Welcome to Techzilla Bytes, feeding your tech hunger fast. I'm Patrick Norton. This episode of Techzilla Bytes is brought to you by Carbonite, automatic cloud backup for your computer files at home and at work. Start your free trial at Carbonite.com with the offer code Techzilla and you'll get two bonus months with purchase. Tala27 tweets, at Techzilla, need help. What Wi-Fi booster type should I buy to fix unstable Wi-Fi in my college dorm room without touching router? I have XP. Now, if you were looking to extend the Wi-Fi at your home and you already tried moving your router, stuff like that, I'd say drop 70 bucks on TP-Link's TL-WA850RE Wi-Fi range extender. You can set it up in a couple of pokes if you have WPS configured via a browser window if you don't. The lights on the front give you an idea how strong the signal from the router is, and it does a great job of grabbing the signal from the router and pushing it along. It's got an Ethernet port built in so you can use it to make wired devices wireless. It's pretty cool. It also might really irritate the IT administrators on your campus. Before I started spending money, I'd ask the IT admins on campus what they recommend and if they have anything they can do to help you. They're often sympathetic and they'll totally hate mail me if I don't remind you to not screw up the campus network first. That said, if they stare blankly and say you should have brought a better laptop or just use the computer in the hallway, I'd try upgrading the Wi-Fi on your Windows XP desktop or laptop first. Wi-Fi benefits most from receiver sensitivity, then antenna design, then transmitting power. So when you're shopping, look for receiver sensitivity as being the most critical thing you're looking for. If you have a desktop, getting a PCI Express Wi-Fi adapter, save one of TP-Link's TL models with the external antennas, that could make a big difference in the performance of your Wi-Fi. And if you don't go with the full N900 board, you're only looking at spending 20 bucks, which is cheap, like online storage from Carbonite. If you think paying for backup seems excessive, you've never had the chore of piecing back together your thesis from a crashed hard drive. Carbonite Online Backup protects your valuable personal business files by automatically storing them up in the cloud. So if your computer gets stolen, you still have access to your files because Carbonite has them safe and sound. Doesn't matter if you've got one computer at home or a whole bunch of a small business. There's a deal for you at Carbonite.com and a free trial. And if you use the offer code TechZilla, you'll get two bonus months if you decide to buy. Now if it's a laptop, you can try a USB Wi-Fi adapter. They start at 10 bucks, easy for a tiny thumbnail sized plug like this Edimax EW7811UN or if you only need it in the dorm room and not everywhere on campus, the 3 dBi antenna on TP-Link's TLWN822N should help you pull in that signal. Good luck and let us know if it worked down in the comments or tweet at Techzilla. And people, please subscribe to get all the Techzilla bites at youtube.com slash Techzilla. Or if you're more into iTunes and RSS feeds, under the download tab below the video at Techzilla.com. And do it now before we head to CES for 2014 because we're going to show you a whole bunch of great new products. I'm Patrick Norton and thanks for watching this episode of Techzilla Bites.